Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Continuing on with the wave, we're going with number 105. We're looking at the first 6 inch scale Knight of Ren. Uh, this one is named Vicryl. Just didn't get the name on the box. That's okay. 105. Pause and have a little read up on the back. Looks like a pretty impressive figure. Hopefully the first of the rest of the Knights of Ren to come in quick succession, but we'll see. Let's let's crack it open and have a look. All right, here is Vicryl out of the packaging, uh, listed as Knight of Ren. This is a damn cool looking figure. I can't wait to have the whole lineup of these guys. Um, I seriously hope Hasbro is getting to work on them really, really soon. What they did with the vintage collection, uh, Knight of Ren, uh, Aplec, I think his name is. I'm blanking on it at the moment. Pretty sure it's Aplec. Um, outstanding figure. I can't wait to see him in six inch scale. Uh, this is just a phenomenal look at what we could look forward to. Um, to having a sweet display with all the Knights of Ren all lined up together, Kylo Ren leading them at the front. This guy is sick. Oh, I really, really like this, this design. I'm just going to move my lighting back a fraction. There we go. That should help. And we'll just tilt back. There we go. That's better. I think this guy gets sort of referred to as the uh, grenade head due to just the pattern on his face. I think I've also heard cheese grater um, checkerboard, but it's a cool, cool design. I really, really like it a lot. His outfit's great. No soft goods. The bottom half is a really soft, sort of malleable plastic. Um, and as is the top here, like, seems like they've just used a base, basic generic body underneath, like a generic torso, and then put this really soft material over the top, this soft plastic mold over the top. Um, I'm interested to see what the purpose of that is, whether they're planning on using um, some of the base features of this figure on future, future Knights of Ren, um, just to, you know, bring the budget down a little bit so they can get them all out. I'm not objecting to that at all um, and some that don't need to hide their legs you could do the same thing with this with these um, but for the most part they are all very unique and different um, but yeah I just really like this guy <laughs> we'll go look at accessories he's got his blaster which looks like it would pack a punch nicely painted some chrome detailing looks looks dirty Got a like a leather strap around the uh, around the handle there. He looks good. I like it. And then we have his uh, scythe looking thing. Electro scythe. I can't remember what it's called. But again, cool design. Looks good. probably hurt if he whacked you with it. <laughs> um, onto, the, to the, onto the figure. Now the blaster is a working blaster. Well, the, sorry, the holster is a working holster. Um, it is a little bit of a pain though, because you've got a slot. That's not in the bottom. It is a soft plastic, so it's not terrible. You're not going to break it. Um, and then you've sort of got to pull that top loop over the top there to hold it in. It's a little bit awkward. But it fits nice once it's in there, and let's be honest, I think most of us are going to display him with his big um, melee weapon, so I don't think it's a big deal really. But just having him displayed like this, he looks like an executioner of sorts. I just love that sort of look to his outer vest with that sort of line pattern that goes down there and follows it around. Sort of gauntlets, they're almost a bit shredder-like. Well, these guys are basically warrior assassins, like they're not 
they're pretty nasty but you know there was all that talk of Kylo Ren basing his helmet off of the design of the Knights of Ren and you can sort of see that here with this, with this sort of shape here um, you definitely get that same sort of Kylo Ren vibe which is cool nice to see little elements of that flowing through the different Knights of Ren but yeah supremely cool figure looks great I can't wait for them to do more <laughs> I really can't um, but we might be waiting a little while because we've uh, got another wave coming out in May I think due out May maybe end of April uh, maybe into June <laughs> could be any time really um, that doesn't have any new Rise of Skywalker figures in it I don't think um, I'm just trying to cast my mind back but that's a little off topic but in terms of articulation this guy has a ball jointed head a ball jointed neck as well you get some good range of movement with these heads now it's fantastic uh, he does have ball hinge shoulders and a butterfly joint which is hidden nicely in there so you can sort of get that sort of shoulder rock there which is great a really nice it's a single jointed elbow but still gets a really nice angle on it so you can do that well and just the way it's molded into the uh, fabric there looks great so, so that torso joint there again offering pretty solid range of movement ball hinged thighs swivel cuts at the top as well yep uh, single joint in the knee again reasonable range of movement I think a double joint would have looked a little bit more appealing than this big ball here but that's okay doesn't look bad um, and ball hinged ankles with that sort of rocker joint there on both the feet so that looks good I do like the dirt and sort of dirtiness of it of the boots you can sort of see it sort of kicked up onto the inner of his of his robe thing there, up the front of his chest, around the back, up the back there, really nicely sculpted and molded. Just a really damn cool figure. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this guy. Because I like it a lot. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with another video very, very shortly. Until then, may the force be with you.